Good morning, everybody. This is Valerie Chu with Heritage Institute of Sustainability, <clears throat> reporting from Dallas, Texas. And many of you may have been listening to my previous videos, but we are doing 2021 a year in sustainability. We are trying to post once a week. Um, and all year long, you will be learning different aspects of sustainability. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So today we're gonna learn, we, this is another class in learning about personal sustainability. So we're gonna learn the relationship between sovereignty and sustainability and learn about stepping into your own power and becoming sustainable. Now you may have recalled the last lesson we talked about uh, the need to drink enough water creating a gratitude journal, and sharing a kind word each day, and spending time outside grounding. Well, you may be asking yourself, what does this have to do with sustainability? Well, we need to first get all of our P's and Q's in line um, and look at ourselves, get ourselves in a healthy mindset, a health, being in a healthy state, uh, so that we can create a more sustainable world world. So we are starting uh, with ourselves in creating this sustainable world. So as you recall, last week we talked about the physiological needs of drinking more water. So now we're seven days into this. It takes about 21 days to start a new habit. So I'm hoping you all are drinking more water. And I'd like you to uh, think about how do you feel? Are you feeling better? So my habit used to be to jump up in the morning. The first thing I did was put on a pot of coffee and slug down that coffee. Well, now instead, I am filling up my water jug and starting the day drinking water. And I can tell you, I have already started feeling better. So let's expand our physiological needs. In addition is to what do you eat each day? Now, remember everything you eat uh, I know you've heard you are what you eat. Everything you eat affects how you feel for the day. So if you want a good, healthy uh, start to your day, look at what you're eating and see how you feel. And you may have heard before as well that the uh, terminology eat a rainbow. Well, it is so important that you include a wide variety of foods in what you eat, fruits, vegetables, and stay away from things that are boxed. If you don't know what the items are that's in that box, when you look at the ingredients, it's best that you stay away from it. And as we said last week, and I can't accentuate this enough, the importance of going outside every day. It honestly, it doesn't matter what the weather is, taking at least five minutes to get outside in the sun, even on a cold, chilly day, will do wonders for how you feel, how you breathe. Uh, you'll become revitalized. It will enhance your mood. And I can tell you, I'm one when it's cold, I hate to go out, but I'll force myself to put on a coat and go even for a short walk just to get some fresh air and to get revitalized for the day. And I think you will also find this very important step will help you get through your day in a happier, healthier manner. So as we discussed last week, we are looking at sustainability through the eyes of Maslow's um, hierarchy of needs. So one of the topics on loving and belonging. So um, when you start each day, what I'd like you to do is look in the mirror and say, I love you. And say it until you feel it in your heart. And think about it through the day. If you really love yourself, is every choice you're making, it is it loving towards yourself? For instance, what you eat. For instance, what you say. For instance, every thought. Is it loving towards yourself and others? And keep in mind the four things that you committed to doing this year, which was drinking more water, getting outside each day, saying a kind word to others and being kind to yourself in creating that gratitude journal. 
Now we're also going to expand on the gratitude journal this week that we talked about last week. So you're creating this journal, but don't keep your gratitude to yourself. Openly express gratitude to the people around you. Thank them for the things they're doing for you, no matter how small they would be. And don't forget to express gratitude to the people that you live with, the people in your home, your children, your spouse. And if you live alone, when you pick up the phone and somebody helps you, gratitude towards that individual. So as we discussed last week, you must appreciate what you have, because when you appreciate what you have, it will bring more abundance to yourself. It's, it's part of the law of attraction. It's about loving what you have, and you will then attract more of what you love. So this week, we're going to expand a little into safety and security. And um, in following weeks, we'll go over these items and many, many more sustainable items. But this, I just want to give you this week food for thought. So the first thing on the list is, do you own your house or do yours, does your house own you? Oftentimes, we purchase things that are way more than what we need. And then the more, the larger your home, for instance, the more house to take care of, the higher you, your utility bills. So when you think about your living environment, is it, is it something that really gives you pleasure or does it cause you stress? Like you purchase something too large for um, what you can really afford. Or if you and your spouse have purchased this huge house and it takes both of your salaries um, to support this household, is that really what you want? Because you, you end up not having the flexibility you want to do what you want to do, to be able to travel uh, in many things. So. Think about that. Um, do you own your house or does your house own you? I also want you to think about um, in safety and security, how many days can you go without purchasing food? <clears throat> it's really important to be sure that in your you keep your cabinets stocked well if you can. The reason this is so important is you never know what's going to happen external to you. And if some of you have lived through the pandemic periods, then you'll find that, you know, there are times when people will make runs on the grocery stores and things will be missing or they won't have things. Or what if you live somewhere where there's a big snowstorm um, that keeps you trapped in your house for a week? So it's important for you to think about storing things that <clears throat> if you don't go to the grocery store, you'll have things to eat, like some of the staples like rice, beans, um, some canned goods. Now, I do have to say I prefer to eat fresh whenever I can, but it does make sense to have items stocked away so if for some reason you can't get out of your house for an extended period of time, there's food in the house. If you're a single mom with children and you get sick and you can't cook for them, are there things in the cabinets that they can make for themselves? Also, always stock away um, some amount of finances for emergencies. You should always have that little uh, amount of money to fall back on, you know, if your car breaks down or there's some other emergency where you need cash, you should ha have some amount of your finances stocked away. Uh, you may consider, if you're able, to put away 5 to 10 percent of um, what you earn. And if you're not able, think about starting a coin jar or just do whatever you're able to do so that you do have some money stocked away in case of emergency. And then in regard to your family, have you planned code words and muster points for your family? So for, for example, if you and your spouse get a car in a car wreck and you're in the, both in the hospital and you need someone to pick up your kids, do you have a code word for the people who um, you've made a plan to pick them up so that your children know that it's safe to go with them. And the other thing you want to think about is muster points for your family. If your family ever gets separated, um, where is a location where your family can muster? Is there an alternate home 
For instance, your house burns down. Where is your family going to meet? How are you going to communicate? These are all things uh, that you want to think about. And we will go into this in more uh, detail at a later time. In summary, uh, remember what you eat and what you drink are all choices. Uh, we want you to be sure and create a gratitude journal for, uh, and to remember to love yourself and others. And then to say something nice to someone every day, plan security with those you love and spend out time outside grounding. Now, I hope this helps. Um, each week we will go into more detail in each of these areas. But right now we are giving you four things to start working on and start thinking about. And then uh, next week we'll get into more detail on each of the individual items. So I thank you all for attending today. I hope you have a great week and we'll talk again next week. Thank you.